Good day, sir. I am Ariel Lapars from Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation, first year. So, I am explaining now the seamanship three lecture in course outcome assessment number four. So, in the task number one, so the task number one is all about the bay plan new discharging port rotation. So, it have the graphs here, sir, as well as below. It have a graph and the reminders of each each letter so I'm gonna show you so this is my graph sir and in bay 9 so we have the 12 with the column here is the 12 10 0 8 to to 1 then don't go up to the 11 so we have here also the 82 the 80 then then up to 92 so so we have we have here the also we see, we have seen that any any kinds of rotation of follow. So this is the the L is stand for Lehavi, and the rotor the Hamburg is stands for H, Antwerp empty it's it stand for A E Antwerp stand for A, and the Felix stone is stand for F then the Rotterdam R. So we have seen here that we have seen here that there is Lehavi here in Bay 9, then Antwerp empty in the four Antwerp empty in the 82 column and 84 in then next the the Lehavi we all have most Lehavi here uh, then A stand for Antwerp then H stand for Hamburg Monis, yes sir and then F Felix Stone Money. then R then Rotterdam Money, Rotterdam Modern Siang Rotterdam so that's all sir so next sir and I am explaining now the task 2 so outline at, at least 7 essential information in Preparing a storage plan. So, in number in number one, always monitor the ship condition and checking for hull damage. So you should always monitor the, the ship condition. Kanang unsa yung mga damage niya. So in next range of movement, loading and unloading rates. So you have to see the movement loading or unloading rates. Next, the storage of loading and unloading plants. Also with the storage. Not just the range of movement, also with the storage. Then next, availability and any special sequence required. So there should be availability and special sequence should be required. Then next, maximum sailing drought and minimum drought for safe new bearing. So we have to see the maximum sailing of drought. And kanang kanapun yang minimum punya. And next cargo quantity and corresponding hold numbers so it should be put in the corresponding hold number and next amount of water ballast and corresponding tank hold to be discharged or loaded so we have to to check the amount of water in the ballast kung sa yang corresponding tank hold or be charged ba or loaded ba so that's all for the seven Essential information in task two. So in, in task task number three. So the importance, the importance. Uh, so the importance of here is is each information in preparing a storage plan is very useful. It helps you to manage easily the cargo and know where it is placed and easy to dis discharge. So in this in this one, so we have to. To aware the preparing of storage plan so that we can easily to pa discharge or pa sulod niya ni and makaiba po tayo kung say mga risk o safety management ani para kung na naam ng ganon in kaso sir on on dalip siya magawas o way hassle and that's all sir thank you sir.